Hello everyone and welcome to an episode of Pierce Pwn Gaming. Um, <clears throat> Pierce Gaming, sorry. So today I just want to do a review after testing out uh, testing out lawn mowing simulator. I just want to do a review on it. So a few things to bear in mind before we start the review. One, this is my opinion of the game. I mean, other people's opinions do matter, and so you guys might not see it the same exact way I do. Uh, I know I enjoy this game, so, but yours might not be different. I know I've had people comment in the past and stuff like that, like, they're like, oh, well, are you being paid by the developer to make the review? And no, no, I'm not. I bought this product just like everybody else who's going to buy the product, with the exception of the professional reviewers, but this is completely and solely 100% my opinion of the game. I'm just going to point out the things that I think they could do better, because there is a few that I do see. Um, <clears throat> the other comment that I want to make before I start is the fact that this does require a pretty high graphics card to, to use. So, using a higher graphics card, I think the minimum is like a... 1090 or something like that so it's not like a higher graphics card but it is actually higher than the one i have so you're going to notice that the fps is a little wonky um but th the maximum card is absolutely insane like it requires a 2070 super so we're just going to dive right in uh, i'm going to show you the career creation uh the character creation and then we're going to dive in. We're going to start mowing lawns. And we're going to test out both lawn mowers because there is two that you have the option of starting with. Uh, there's one which is going to be my recommendation. And then there's uh, the other one. But uh, yeah, so we're going to jump right into it. So we're going to create a new career. Uh, we're going to play with tutorials. So I can just kind of go through that. So we have our company name. And we're just going to name it. Oh, company name. We're just going to go with Lawn Co. Lawn Co. Cutters. Oh, you know what? Actually, let's go. Whoops. Let's go Lawn Cut. Oh. Cutters Co. Lawn Cutters Co. All right, now we have our company logo. So you, as you can see here, we have a couple that we can choose from. Um, the one I use is this one, which is just kind of a generic one. I didn't want something that would distract me, but uh, you know, let's just let's let's go a little fancy. Let's go with this. Uh, let's go with this house here. And now we can edit our player. So the character creation is uh, is not the greatest. Greatest. So we're just gonna name this guy Purist. Purist. Here is Purist. And then we're gonna go with our player avatar. So we have a couple of options that we can choose from. So let's go back through this slower. And we're going to go with the mustache guy. There, we'll go with the mustache guy. So we're going to change our hat. We can change the color of it. Unfortunately, there's not like too much for coloring. So we'll make this guy's hat. We'll make it, uh, we'll make it, uh, yellow. Yellowish, it'll match our thing. So we'll confirm that. And then we'll go to our company logo. So we can have it like front and back, back and front, no logo. Um, we're going to go front and back for this one, and uh, we're going to have our uniform colors. So you can change it to whatever whatever you fancy. Uh, we're just going to go black, we'll confirm it, and then we'll give it some yellow stripes. Confirm. Or actually we'll go orange with yellow stripes. That's kind of like construction -y colors. And we're just going to confirm that. <clears throat> and then we're going to confirm 
and then we're going to confirm. So it's going to ask us, uh, are you happy with your company setup? Uh, you can actually change it, which is really nice. Um, so we have to be, we have to think about the decks that are in or that are on the mowers. So Oh my gosh, my dog. It's just dumping around here. I'm trying to get into the treat bag. So anyways, um what we have to do is we have to think about the deck that we're gonna use. So there's a couple of different styles of decks. There's the under deck, which is you know the standard, right? So these are the two mowers you can pick from from the beginning. Uh, this one actually has a bag on the back that collects the grass. And then this one has the deck on the front, which mulches the grass. So if you see like the deck type, it's mulcher. And then we have our deck type as collector. And then it tells us what the drive system is, whether it's rear, rear, rear wheel, front wheel, or all wheel. Uh, it is kind of nice. We do get zero turns after. And uh, it's yeah, it's pretty cool to see. So in my current game, oh my gosh, the one thing I don't like is how this menu runs. Ah, here we go. I'll just use the keys. So I actually, I just picked up this lawnmower in, in my actual profile, and I'm loving it. Uh, it's nice to have the zero turn capabilities. So I recommend, my official recommendation is this one. Uh, I am going to test drive both of these just to kind of show you about it. Then we're going to talk a little bit about it in the game. So we're going to go with this mower off the beginning. Uh, actually, we'll go with this mower off the beginning. So we're going to, yeah. Uh, then we're going to go, yes. Apparently my keyboard, or my controller is not working right now. Um, so I'm just going to go into the settings quick. So here's the settings menu. So this tells you a little bit about the job, whether you want to take it or resume it or quit it. Uh, tells you the general, like the, the contract type, general cut. Um, it tells you the cut height range because you can adjust the ranges on the mower. And that's one of the nice things. Um, we have the current grass range, which is how tall the grass is. And then the recommended finish time is unlimited. Uh, we have our control scheme here. Which should say controller, but I don't, for some reason, it's not registering my controller at this moment. And then we have our settings, which is uh, which is really nice to have. We have our game settings, which I have everything on high, I have VSync off, motion blur off, blah, blah, blah. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to turn it down quite a bit here. And we have different uh, menu, UI sound effects, volume, and all that kind of junk, right? So... We're gonna go, we're gonna resume here. So we know our grass needs to be five to six centimeters. And we're gonna get on the vehicle. So we have our, yeah, our career mode. You need to get started into the game. Uh, each vehicle uh, is different to get going, follow the steps to get it started and all the buttons on the screen. Okay, so now we gotta drive to the grass. But right now we gotta get our mower on. So we'll fire the mower up. You hold Z. And then you use I and T to change the vehicle's throttle. So if we hit T, we increase it. If uh, I think it's, yeah. And then we have our accelerate and reverse. E and C to change the cut height. So they wanted it at six or five. We're gonna go down to six. And we're gonna go out and start mowing. So mind you, there might be a bit of stuttering in frame rate. That's just because I have it set on high because I just absolutely love the way this game looks. Um, it does have, it, it is 
like it's something I can live with. I mean, it's not for everybody. Like, not everyone's gonna live with the frame rate drops that I'm getting now. But uh, yeah. So I'm just gonna go back into the options menu here, and I'm gonna go with the control scheme, and I'm going to look at the camera. Okay. Um. Where is the pro view? We can hold control, and then the reset camera is click. So basically, um, so I got to figure out which button is the. Oops, which button is the uh, change camera? Oh, it's V. So we do have a couple of different views. We have the first person view. We have the third person view. Uh, I personally like the third person view. So we're going to lower the deck and then we're going to tap Z to engage our mower. And now we're just going to start cutting through. So we got the cut height, contract progress is displayed. So we're just going to go through this and we're going to start cutting our grass. Um, as you can see, yeah, I am getting some frame rate drops. Like, I don't think it's that bad, but some people wouldn't, or some people wouldn't like it. But I'm just kind of putting up with it because I am getting a new graphics card for my computer soon, which I'm very excited about. Uh, but yeah. So anyways, so we're, yeah, we're just gonna go along. We're gonna cut our grass. And if you'll notice that if we go too fast, we will leave marks in the grass and it won't cut properly. That's what. That's why it's redlining. It's telling us that oh, slow down a little bit. Like you can't, uh, you can't cut like that. And you can actually mess up these. And it does affect how much money you'll make from it. So yeah, if I just mow through these, like that's not what I'm supposed to be mowing. You can damage your mower uh, after each contract. You have to refuel it, which is really nice. It's one of those games where you can just burn time. You can burn a lot of time playing it. Uh, I'm just going to... Oops. I'm going to turn down the volume again. Uh, I don't know why. So, okay. So now we have this. So now we're just mowing along. And yeah, see there, I just damaged the mower a little bit. If I mow too fast, then it's just not going to work. So what I'll do is I'll just take a little strafe down here. And you can see that when I come back, the grass won't be completely cut. And I'm going to turn sharp. It's actually going to leave ruts in the ground. Yeah, see, so we have our pro view, which if we hold it, we can see if we missed any grass. Which is kind of nice. I mean, it's... Because there's some grass that you won't even see that you missed until you get into the pro view, and you're just gonna be like, "Whoa! Like, I can't believe I missed this grass." <clears throat> so yeah. So our job is we're gonna finish. We're gonna finish what it wants us to. Uh, they are adding wheel support soon, which is gonna be really nice. It's gonna give a nice flavor to the game to be able to use the steering wheel. It's gonna be a little weird though when you run a zero turn. I'm assuming. But, uh, yeah. So we're just going to keep mowing the grass here. We'll keep cutting as much as we can to just maximize our percentage. I'm not 100% sure if we can quit the contract at any time. But uh, I can find that out in a second. So as you can see, yeah, if I cut too fast, it's just not going to work. We can look around. Oh, see, that's not very good. And it gives you little warnings, which is really nice. So you can see there's grass strips we missed because we were going too fast. That wouldn't happen if we normally cut the grass. And it's, and the nice thing about this game is it feels really different when you're using a different mower type. So when you're using a zero turn, you have to be prepared because that, that does turn fast. Just keep slowly cutting along here. 
and we do, like I said, we do lose money if we break anything like flowers or whatever, which is really cool because, I mean, if you were cutting grass in real life, you wouldn't want to be cutting up some guy's flowers or anything like that. Or you wouldn't want to be hitting things with your mower because you don't want to damage your mower. So we're just going to cut through here. So normally we have to get to 99.9% .9 completion or within the 99 percentile to finish the contract but because this is just the tutorial it's going to make us go to the yellow line which is I think like 15 or 20 or 25 percent. So we're just going to go crazy and just mow. Uh, the other thing you have to be aware of is there's going to be, they're called yard checks. So you have to go through and you have to look for stuff that might be on the ground. It's not going to do it for us here because it's just a tutorial. But uh, yeah, so we're just going to keep mowing this grass and getting this contract done. Not sure why my controller isn't working, but uh, it would have been a lot nicer to use my controller. But that happens. Um, yeah, so this is Lawn Mowing Simulator. It looks really good. As you can see, like if you look out in the grass, you can actually see it swing from the wind, which is really cool. It's really nice attention to detail. So we'll just continue cutting our grass, mowing our lawn. So I'm not cutting the grass perfectly. I'm just trying to mainly get through this so I can test drive the other lawnmower and then show you a little bit about that. And then we'll end it after we uh, get to the menu interface because I'll show you the contract system and I'll show you some of the other stuff that's involved in the game here. For a grass mowing simulator there's actually quite a bit like I was thinking when I first jumped on I was like oh man like cool like a grass cutting simulator like um, it's just going to be easy, like you're just going to be able to drive fast and just cut the grass fast as you can, but no, that's not the point of this game. The point of this game is to have some, some level of perfection anyways. And you can mow the grass how you feel is efficient. I feel it efficient to go around the yard. But you can mow the grass however you see fit, right? If you like going up and down, or around the other way, or you just want to zigzag through, like it's completely up to you how you mow your own grass. So we have our contract progress. So when the contract's completed, you drive, you drive back to your trailer essentially. So I'm just gonna go back. I'm going to turn off the mower deck and we're going to drive back and we're going to test drive that other mower. And then I'm just going to show you a little bit of that. Uh, I personally like this mower better because I feel like I have better control because the mowing deck is on the front. It just makes it a lot easier for me to get through to certain places. Uh, you'll also get dinged for, uh, for not doing the job properly if you cut the grass to a different height other than specified. So now we're in our loading screen and we're back in. Uh, we can purchase our vehicle for career mode, but we're gonna take this and uh, we're just gonna give it a quick test drive. So we're gonna fire up this mower. We're gonna fire up this mower here. And we're just gonna go into the first person view. And we're gonna fire up our engine. We're going to put our throttle up. And now we're going to adjust our cut height because it's set at 9 centimeters and the contract specified. Well, actually, what I'll do is I'll cut it this way for now. Just to show you the mower. I mean, it doesn't really matter. So, I'm going to fire up the mower here. And we're just going to drive. So as you can see, this mower is going to handle a lot differently than your other mowers. 
I personally find that I have more control with the other mower. It's going to be a little wonky coming up here because I'm A, I'm used to the other mower, and B, I'm used to using the controller. I'm not sure whoop, why my controller is not working. So yeah, so we're just going to take a little couple passes here. And yeah. So we're just mowing along. Right, doing our thing. And this is what I mean about the, the ground. You can actually destroy the ground. And it will affect your contract earnings. So we're going to shut off this now. And we're going to take our mower back to uh, back to the trailer here. And then I'll uh, and then I'll show you the uh, the menu. And there we go. We've ended our test drive. So now it's time to decide the mower that we want. I'm going to take this one. And it leaves us with 350 bucks. And then we have... This is our contract screen. So throughout this game, there's going to be the contracts that you will have to do. Um, there is other logos that go up here. Uh, up here. But uh, unfortunately, we can't do it until we do the contracts. So I'm not going to make you go through that. Uh, there's a company menu. So actually, I can show you. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to close out of this for now. Uh, okay, we got to go to our... Yeah, we'll go to exit career mode. So I'll just go into here, which is which is this. I have an employee with me. So this is our HQ. This is where we manage things. Advertisements, edit company. So we can actually buy advertising. Which is really cool. So in realistically, we just want to... We always want to have advertising for anything um, then we have our jobs so I've actually preset this job for an employee already so you select your employee so I'm gonna select this guy and then we select our mower and then you just confirm it then we can take another job by doing that so I'll select that and then I'll select my mower confirm and then we this is then we go here to start the jobs uh, we have our employees, which is the one here, and then we can actually hire other people, which is really cool. So they'll have different status and they'll have different uh, wage per week, right? So if we want a proficient guy, we're going to be paying 250 euro a week. Uh, if we want a journeyman, we're going to be paying 200 euro a week. We have our garage, which is where we work on our mowers. So we don't have any bays available, but I can take this and then I can maintenance it. So this is how you would maintenance it. Uh, we have our statistics, which is how far we've driven it, the grass cut, and everything like that. So that's kind of cool. We can kind of keep track. We can sell the vehicle. We can part exchange with other vehicles. So I can buy another zero turn if I wish. Although right now I'm not going to. Uh, then we have our loans, so we can apply for a loan, and this is based on the level that you get. And you'll see the repayment cycle. So if I take a $2,500 loan, the repayment amount is $43.75. Uh, the interest rate is 10%, the repayment period is 10 weeks. So the weekly payments are four hundred and thirty thirty seven fifty and then we get into our bigger loans. Yeah. So that is lawn mowing simulator. I like the game and it's one of those games, believe me, it's one of those games where you can just spend hours and hours playing and not even realize that time has passed. And yeah. This is our title screen. We can delete, we exit to desktop, blah, 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 right? So it's pretty good. I mean, it gives you gives you challenges. You can go through the challenges. Um, 
there's session set up, so free now are free mow. So you can just mow whatever location you want. So yeah. This is a lawn mowing simulator. Um, I do apologize for my dogs. I got a little puppy in the house and he's he's a little crazy right now. Uh, I think we all know how puppies are. So if you heard him in the background, uh, I sincerely apologize. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed the review. And yeah, have a wonderful day. Uh, if you like what you see, like and subscribe. If there's anything you think I could be doing better, please leave a comment. Like I, I like I like the comments. It's nice to give feedback and get feedback. So thank you very much, and have yourselves a wonderful day. Bye for now.